Hey everybody, how y'all doing? It's me, Super Paul Games. Get ready to watch some Chug Dickin. We have a 60-40 record. We've already played 100 games, almost two-thirds of the games. We're not quite at two-thirds, but we're almost there. Right? <laughs> I'm doing the math in my head. Yeah. It's 162 games, so we'd have to do, what is it? Summertime Four more? By the Bay, AT&T Park in San Francisco. Tonight it's the first of three to start the new week. Between the Pittsburgh Pirates eight more? And I think it's eight more. Whatever, math! Giants. It's not time for it's math, time for it's time for baseball. Which a sport which actually does have a lot of math, considering all the statistics you look at. And taking on those pirates. Ross Detweiler gets the start for San Francisco in this one. Harold and he's Detweiler having a much better year than I think he had last year. And that's an official stat, I think. <laughs> Uh-oh. McCutcheon. Hey, we played with him in the... Uh, that sounds rough. In the All-Star game. He was center field when Tug Dick was in left. He's like, hello, bats. Are there little fairies in there? No. Top of the first two outs. It's nice to be playing at home. And here's a ball Despite the fact there. that Tug Dick hits way better on the road. Wolverine! Hey, what's up? He's wearing his superstar glasses, apparently. And now we'll see what the Giants can do. No score. Come on, Posey or I don't even know who's hitting the number one spot anymore. Be nice if one of them got on though. Tug Dick hitting a strong 381. His average coming in way up there in the 380s. I pose these over on first. Bottom of the first one out. I'm swinging at this. I don't care what it is. Here it comes. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field, but it stays in the park and caroms off archway number three. It would have been a triple, but apparently Buster Posey's not fast enough. Is it second and third following the one out double? Well, Matt, I thought it definitely had the height. It just didn't have the distance. The outfielder gives it a great effort, but it's just out of his reach. But he does get. The yeah, there's no way Tug Dick was going to hit that out here. I mean, if you look at how high the wall is over there, nice hit though. Good double. If Bosey hadn't been on base, it would have been triple. Batting fourth, first baseman. Brandon Here's the first Moss. baseman, Brandon Moss. Nice what? Swing by Moss as he gets a hold of this one high and deep out to right field. An amazing hit! You're on the team still? What? What? Awesome job, Moss! Maybe he's been riding the bench all year. That is not a name I wanted to hear. But if I had to hear him, that's the way to do it. He's hit 19 home runs this season? Where has he been? We haven't seen him at all in the lineup. Like, this is the first time I have seen him in the lineup. I'm not complaining about that. Man, he murdered that thing. Maybe he was in the minors and got called up? I don't know. Because if you've been watching, we played 100 games, and that's the first time he's been in the lineup. I didn't even notice him before when we were looking at the lineups. This one's flared out toward left. Dick is after it. Notch one in the score column as a runner from third cross. That guy's got a speed of eight. Not too worried about him going to second. It's not going to look pretty when you talk to him about it, but man, in the box scores, he picks up the RBI and keeps his team pushing forward. I hate to admit it, but I bet Tug Doug's. Tug Doug? <laughs> Tug Dick's a little worried to see that Brandon Moss is still on the team. He's like, what? Tug Dick one for a one. Chance. Dick. He'll get us going in the home half of inning number three. We are up four to one, thanks to that uh, Brandon Moss home run. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Well, he had a rough first two innings. Uh, you know what? He's in oh, the their manager is sad. <laughs> he looks really depressed about life. Or maybe talked himself back into the game because here he is for the third inning. Let's see what happens with that conversation. Oh, that was the Just pitch the I wanted, but get under it a little bit right too much. Side. Walker is right there. One guy. And with that, we give you a look here at what's happening in the race in the National League Central. How about that? We were four and a half games up on the 
Diamondbacks. Dodgers are having a poor year. They were rated like number one coming into the season just based on player skill, and they are not playing like it. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Andrew Lambeau. He starts the inning, and Dan, they're down six in the early going, so what do they need to do to claw back into this thing? They need to score six runs. I like this 7-1 lead, thank God. Top of the fourth, no outs. When you're down by six, but base runners are the key to getting back into this one. Look at that, tug dig. Consummate professional. He knew right where to be. Quick out number one. Here's Michael Saunders now. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Right fielder, Michael Saunders. Ah, they're keeping us busy over here and left. Trying to send. I don't know why Bochi hasn't shifted time. so much. That's lifted the other way out to left. Moving under it, Dick. Two gone. Dick's everywhere. <laughs> uh, sorry, Saunders. Tug Dick, one for two. Digging in to try it again. Tug Dick, one for two. That guy's got a huge head back there. <laughs> Tug Dick is probably goes back to the bench. Did you see that guy with that massive head? New pitcher on the mound. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. He swung so hard, I don't know how he stayed on his feet or kept his helmet on. I'm surprised he didn't fall down. He swung so hard. What a big swing. In the air oh come on! Center. Don't get under it! Don't get under it! Don't get under! It. Oh! Is there and it's a very quick inning as the side is retired. Danny McCutcheon. I like the seven-one lead though. We need to do that more often. Tug Dick one for three. Bottom of the six, we're up nine to one. We are just destroying the Pirates here. Two outs. Good swing. Just got. Ah, just a little early on that. That was so tempting. It's like, oh, I wanted a fastball. Great location. I just pulled it too much. The 0 1 pitch. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Wow, this guy's not afraid to come after Tug Dick. You stay aggressive and you come right after guys. Man, you get great results. Two quick outs, and now he's 0 2 on this hit. Come on, stay fair. Oh. Hit in the air. And this will land foul. That sucks. I was hoping that would stay fair. As you could tell when I yelled stay fair. Now a swing and a ball chop foul right at home plate. That's a nice job of staying alive. A two strike breaking ball just out of the zone. He was able to put enough on it to get another pitch. Swing and he Oh, please go into the stands. I don't think it's gonna. Oh well. Made him throw a few pitches. You're doing what you can. Giants. Giants up by like eight points. Digging in once again. Tug Dick is like, that guy tried to sell me a computer once. <laughs> no, he didn't. Tug Dick, stop Here making up stories. Here's a swing and a ball. Oh, what the hell's going on? Nice job, Jay. Uh oh, top of the seventh. They got runners in first and second. Looks like they're going to try and get something going here. We need to stop that. Two outs. Come on, Tug Dick. Do it for your train friends. Excellent. Sorry, Pirates. Wait, the splash hit counter did change this time. Wasn't it 62 before? And then Tug Dick hit one and went up to 63? In past years, it didn't change. I swear it did this year. We're up 10 to 2. We scored a field goal and a touchdown. Three outs. Oh, shoot. Well, no surprise. Another single to lead off the inning here late in the game. That doesn't matter. We win. Hell yes. That's usually the case when you win a game by eight runs. Feels good to dominate a game like that. Like he says, feels good, man. Hug. I know it's like one of the least important things, but like all the other teams in the game seem to have different kinds of celebrations in the outfield. We just have the hug. <laughs> not complaining. It's not as creepy as the dick thrust that some teams do. Tug Dick one for four with a double. He had a nice game. Brandon Moss two for three. What? How the hell was he not... Was he in the organization the whole time? Now I want to go back through all the old videos and be like, did I miss him 
somewhere in the um, line, not the lineup, because he wasn't in a lineup prior to now. And the San Francisco Giants. Maybe he was injured. Maybe he got injured in spring training or something. Tim Lincecum. Tim Lins to come, 10-7 record. Harold, what do you got? Let's get you another one. Let's get you number 11. Tug Dick hitting 379, two outs, bottom of the first. Oh, man, you got too many pitches, dude. That makes it difficult. But I think the key for him to continue to be successful is stay on the same mindset. Cheap-ass bats. Inning by inning. We'll see if he executes that in this game. Harold, we look at this Pirates ball club as they enter play here tonight. They were losers last time out, but still in a decent groove as they'd won. You can see the wind blowing in from center. Yeah, Matt, they've been a little up and down on this Now that Tug Dick hits many out anyway, so we don't have to worry about that. not bad. Better than being 0-4. They win this game today, though. What's up, old King Cole? Turns the tide for You marry old souls, you smoke your bowl? Reefer addict. I don't know how you get the barrel of that pitch. Tug Dick's got long hair now, too, so he shouldn't talk too much. That hard on the inside part of the plate. High oh, that was good contact. I think they're gonna get under it though. Under yeah. It. No trouble with this one, and the inning is right over to McCutcheon. Giants are down one, two, three, and this is still a nothing, nothing ball game. Tug Dick, 0 for 1. They got a runner on first. He's actually got a little bit of speed. Two outs. Oh man, can we? A little late on it, but it works. Go to second. Yes, he made it. You talk about a free swinger. First pitch, and he hits a ball that's down and away, and gets a base hit. Man, that's not what I'm. I hit it hard. First baseman got scared. Oh, I guess he was trying to catch it. Tyler is like he fell down in fear. I was trying to catch it. Shut up. No. Here's the first baseman, Brandon Moss. I do not like first hearing that. Despite the fact last game he hit a home run. Looking to put the ball he must have been injured. He went down on he's, but he's, first how did he have 19 home runs? 319 average, and we've not seen him till now. Line to the right side. And he dives to make a spectacular catch. Typical Brandon Moss. Great catch by Saunders. One more look at the full extension catch that strands two men on the base pass. Back with Whee! more here on a Tuesday night after this. Damn you, Saunders robbing us. Tug Dick, one for two. Nobody on. Bottom of the six. We're down by a run. To the plate thus far. Fielder, Tug Dick. Now a swing and a miss as they start him out on a pitch well inside for strike one. I really love the way he's attacking hitters on that first pitch. It's over 80% first pitch strikes in this game. And that's why he's having. Such oh, that was a good success. second pitch. High and probably would have been in the zone. Two quick strikes and now the 0-2. Oh, ball Oh, just got the bottom of the strike zone. So I did not think it was going to. Well, he's pitching the third best in the National League. And he's having a good game so far. Nobody on our team scored. Tug Dick, one for three. We got a 2-1 lead. Different pitcher on the mound. Man, sinker, slider. Is it going to be something low in the zone? Well, that was a little lower than I should have been swinging at. I'm not your baby. Don't say come on baby to me. Oh, are you kidding me? Alright, we've got two strikes on us. Now we got to play defense. It's called nickel blitz. Another 0-2 home. And another foul ball. Ah, uh, just trying to stay alive here. Fifth pitch on the way, or it will be in a moment. Takes this there we go. Might have been a little bit low, but don't matter. Tug Dick getting on. This guy's such a good hitter. I get the feeling, even when he's down 0-2 in the count like he was here, he's still actually ahead of the count when he's facing anybody. They should not have given him a fastball. Tug Dick loves the fast balls. Ooh, Tigers beat KC, I think it was. Go Tigers. <laughs> Bottom of the seventh. Oh, Brandon Moss at the plate. <laughs> Stepping in now, Brandon Moss. 
a fastball oh, here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. He's hitless. Uh, I'm three, still yeah, incredulous. Point. That I didn't even think he was on the team. Pitch. A swing and he pulls it down the line and deep. And that's going to. Oh, too bad that wasn't fair. Foul, so a missed opportunity there. That's our pitch. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. Uh, their catcher's a little better than San Diego's. Either way, though, we easily made it. That leg kick gave Tug Dick plenty of time. at least gets him a guy in scoring position. Yeah, and I think that's exactly what the manager was thinking there, Matt. Hey, if we aren't driving the ball with any authority today, we need to make something happen in a different way. This is where Bochy says, be smart about the situation. Tug Dick says, suck it, Bochy. breaking for third. I had him lunging there as he's just able to tap it foul at home plate. Tap, tap, tap. On, Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. He uh, struck him out. Typical Brandon Moss at the plate, striking out. I hope he's going to get injured again <laughs> or whatever had him out. Neil Walker come to the plate. Oh, now we're down by a run. Runners at the corners. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt. Especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. And here's a ball hit in the air. Come on, Wolverine, you got it. Woo! Nice catch. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. So two runs on three hits, no errors. Well, we only got like six outs left to try and get a run or two to actually get the lead. Tug Dick, two for two. He's having a good game. Average back over 380. Why is that close there? Uh-oh. He might be the last batter. Bottom of the ninth, two outs. No doubles defense. Now the first pitch. We are down by a run. Too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Up and in here as he had to bend out of danger. I'll tell you, there was. Tugdick's got some choice words for him. Like your motherfucker. When you're facing a guy like this, you don't want him to get too comfortable in that batter's box. Oh, she let that go. Two and one. Looks to me like he's just trying to do too much up there at the plate. That's an easy trap to fall into when you're the tying run, but you can't be chasing pitches out of the zone. Hey, he only chased one pitch. Not everything's going to be perfect. Most of this bat's been all right so far. And this is fouled at the plate. Has him down to their final strike. Here it comes. And he lays All right, bait or not bases loaded. I wish full count. Other baseball terms. Impressive that he did. Two out, two strike offering. Here it is. And he walks. Look at that patience for somebody who last two years, well, his entire career up to this year was never patient. He's really started to develop as a better player. Get the bat out of his hands any way that you Oh, can. God dang it. Brandon Moss 0 for 4. That's the brand. How's he have 20 home runs this year in a 360 average? I swear he cheated. He probably blew the stat guy. Rip these down. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. A high fastball is in there. Clearly trying to This is where we need a Hunter Pence or a Buster Posey or even a Brandon Belt. Way of trying to control the running game, Matt. The problem with it, though, it has a tendency to throw your command off because you're worrying about that runner on base. Whoa, what are you looking at, son? We are going to steal second if we can. And a dive, but he's back in there. And again, a throw. And he'll dive back in safely. Two out with the man at first. Ah, uh, I was all about to go too. Just manages to get his hand. That might be Belt on deck. No, is that Posey on deck? And again, I think it's Posey on deck. Dive, but he's back. Comes the pitch to Moss. A pitch out. The throw. <laughs> they tried to pitch out and Tugdick still beat it. Maybe you should have thrown it to the catcher a little faster, loser. What else the defense could have done there? They pitched out and the throw was pretty good, but they still couldn't come. Half of this is now there's an open base. And maybe the walk moss. <laughs> come on, guys. 
Walk Moss. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. And oh man, speed I don't want to try and steal third, but if we can get that leg kick again, we'd be a fool with his speed not to try it. And the two-one pitch. And this is swung on. And uh, I don't know. That's typical Brandon Moss in the play right now. Quickly down. Boy, two strikes. Not seeing the ball at all. He's already got three strikeouts. If he strikes out here, that's when you start calling it. He struck out three times this game. Lead off a second there. Now the pitch. And he strikes out again. Typical Brandon Moss. We lose the game because of him. Hey, anytime you can win a game, let alone on the road, you have to feel really good about yourself. It's not easy going into that other team's ballpark and coming out with a win, but they did just that. Three to two, the finish in tonight's game. Jared Hughes. We're going to go look at the line. <laughs> no. Uh, we're going to run back to the clubhouse. Tug Dick had a good game, two for four. And he got walked. Because of good discipline at the plate. Unlike Brandon Moss, who struck out... What is it, four times today? Didn't they say three times before the last one? <laughs> Where did he come from? A player is called to question by his manager on his base running of late. What? You just did this to me last episode or two episodes ago. And, and if you remember, we didn't try and steal third until we found out... It, uh, Tug, my attention has been drawn to your base stealing frequency. I sure don't remember issuing steal signals that many times or giving you a permanent green light, did I? You, 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 no disrespect, sir, but you did give me the green light before, and I've been pretty effective, I thought. Having had a little fun with the young speedster, the manager strikes a jovial tone. <laughs> just messing with you, Tug. Good gracious, your numbers are ridiculous. Yeah, thanks for noticing, coach. Uh... The player understands what a green light means. And doesn't mean. Ah, uh, now you understand. You still gotta have situational awareness, right? Yes, sir. I did last game. We didn't make a move on third until we saw that it was easy to steal on the pitcher. We weren't gonna have the last out at third. Uh, Even uh, the last bag snatchers need to know when to exercise restraint. Ah, uh, you can't be risking making out a last out at third or getting picked off when we need multiple runs late in the game. Can I count on you to be smart? Of course, sir. Whatever. Satisfied that the player can be trusted with the responsibility. The manager grants him a standing green light to bolt. Okay, then do what you want to do. You're a dangerous weapon out there. You've told me that so many times. Are you seeing Isle Bochi? we got a five-game hitting streak going on. We've stolen 75 bases in a season. Uh, where is team roster? Let's go over to first base. Oh my god, is Brandon Belt actually playing? I mean, on the bench for that game and Moss was playing? No, 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 Belt's way better. Oh no. <laughs> um, can we see if he's been injured at all this year? Oh, look at that, Brandon Moss is angry. He's angry about his team. He thinks he's a star and he's not been playing much. Platoon, I assume, means they just plug him in the lineup when they need him. Which amazingly means it's not been any time we've been playing. That's hilarious. He's all grumpy. Uh, he shat the bed in the last game. And I know Brandon Belt has a lower um, batting average, but Belt is consistent and he's clutch. Even if he's not getting a hit, he's putting the ball into play, not striking out like Moss. Well, everybody, that was a pretty fun game. Oh, look at that. Cruisin's for autographs says, Tug Dick is my fave dude to get a signature from. Really great guy. I'll see y'all next time. Thanks for hanging out.